The AGD-316 Stopline Radar is an intelligent detection system offering premium detection performance for stationary vehicles at the stop line. The user-friendly LiveWire graphical user interface allows deployment on a variety of site topographies in a matter of minutes. Installers should ensure that they have downloaded the 316 LiveWire GUI before proceeding to site and have access to the 316 product manual. An AGD-approved Bluetooth dongle is required to ensure optimum connectivity to the detector. The 316 on-street setup is in two stages. The initial course setup is followed by a more accurate, fine adjustment. Optimum detection of stationary vehicles is achieved by following the on-screen prompts. Select an appropriate pole that is adjacent to the stop line. Mount the detector in a position with an unobstructed view of the stop line and approaching traffic. A height adjustment bracket may be required. Mount the 316 at a height of 3 to 5 meters and adjust the angle of declination based on the proximity of the stop line to the mounting pole. Aim the radar so that it is angled into the carriageway to look at the centre of the road roughly two metres behind the stop line of the lane adjacent to the pole. Loosely tighten the securing nut to allow for later adjustments to be made. Connect the detector to power and the 316 red LED will flash five times. Launch the 316 LiveWire application on your laptop. The Bluetooth connectivity will search for available 316s at the site. Select the detector required. The detect LED will illuminate in blue to confirm the connection. Answer the on-screen prompts relating to road setup that ask for the pole position in relation to the stop line, the number of lanes and the lane orientation in relation to the pole. Monitor the approaching traffic and you will see a number of golden highlighted boxes and grey boxes depicting the road scene of the traffic. The radar will track individual targets and generate information for the range of travel to the stop line. Follow the on-screen prompts as detailed in the course setup section. The boxes where most detection activity is seen are highlighted with a green or red border a minimum of two green highlighted boxes should be present where the user requires detection at the stop line. Minor adjustments to the detector pan and tilt angle may be required to achieve this. Follow the on-screen prompts. If the user is presented with any red bordered boxes, the GUI will prompt for a further adjustment to the tilt angle. Once correctly adjusted, the user will then see only green highlighted boxes. Detection activity could also be present in the boxes adjacent to these. Further fine-tuning may be required. As vehicles approach the radar, the boxes on screen will temporarily highlight in beige. The highest detection activity is required in the blue boxes now displayed. Minor adjustment of the pan-tilt angle may be required to achieve this. It is important to reset the vertical bars indicating the detection activity after each pan and tilt adjustment of the detector. For the radar to give accurate Q detection output, the final blue box must reliably highlight beige for every target that passes. If this does not occur, the zone will need to be adjusted to move the rightmost blue box. Always remember to save the detector settings before exiting. Vehicles stopping in the required area at the stop line will generate a Q status, as shown by the Q icon, and the red detect LED on the front or rear of the 316 will illuminate. If the Q icon is not present, then further adjust the angle of the detector to achieve even higher detection activity in the blue box adjacent to the stop line. Observe the traffic flow to check that all stopping vehicles are detected at the stop line. When no vehicles are present, walk the curb edge adjacent to the lane being monitored by the 316 from a point 10 metres from the stop line towards the detector, stopping adjacent to the stop line. If the detector has been correctly aligned, the Q icon will not appear, indicating no detection. If detection activity is observed, then pan the detector slightly further away from the curb edge. Reset the vertical bars 
and repeat the earlier fine tuning steps. Observe the traffic flow to check that all stopping vehicles are detected at the stop line. Firmly tighten the securing nut, being careful not to move the radar. Observe the approaching traffic for one final time to ensure optimum detection. The 316, a premium performance stop line radar detector from AGD.